everywhere I go, niggas holla at me. Keep it real, G. And my reply till they kill me. He must think we fucked this bitch. Knock them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran them both for our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door, cause that's the one they miss. Police raid the crib like they think we selling crack. But we out here selling tracks. Multi million dollar plaques. Rather put this shit on wax. All that gossip shit is whack. When all they had was 50 cents. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab. I'm in the building. And this is Machiavelli Media. Hey, yo. Just when I thought I seen it all. You can't make this shit up. King Combs, one of P. Diddy's sons, Christian, took it upon himself to defend his father's name, to defend his father's legacy, to defend his pops, period, by calling out the big bad wolf 50 Cent himself. That's right. King Combs recorded a diss track called Pick Sides or Pick a Side. And he had some slick shit to say about 50 Cent. But in the process, the nigga might have said too much in trying to defend his pops. And what he said was, yeah, the feds raided our house, but they ain't checked next door. Like they, <laughs> in so many words, he's saying, they raided the wrong fucking house, and they ain't go through, you know, all of the properties. That's crazy to me. Now, 50 is having a field day with this shit. You know, first he put out a post, oh, I feel threatened, oh, I'm scared, blah, blah, blah. You know, poking fun at the fact that, you know, this is Puffy's son. This is Diddy's son, right? But then he went into the fact that, yo, you just snitched on your pops in the process. Yeah, the police, y'all thought they had us, but they actually checked the wrong house. They ain't checked next door. So what's going to happen tomorrow? <laughs> what's going to happen next week? Oh, man, you can't make this shit up. I respect them because I know what he was trying to do. You know, the whole world... You know, shitting on the pops right now. Nobody's coming to his rescue. And this is his dad. You know, I know he loves his father. And you know, he said what he had to say. He called himself, you know, holding down the family. But in the process, you did more damage than good. Like, I be trying to figure out when niggas together or... or they in the studio, do the homeboys be listening to what's being said? Because this is self-snitching at its finest. Didn't nobody say, yo, a hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 Christian, we need to take this out. This That line got to go, bro. Who was like, oh, that's hard. Yeah, leave that in there. That's, that's gangster. I know one person that didn't hear this motherfucking verse. And that was Diddy. <laughs> I guarantee you, Diddy didn't hear that shit. He would have said, hey, he would have walked in that bitch and pulled the plugs out the machines and snatched his credit cards back from Shorty. Like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Are you working for 50 Cent? You trying to send me to prison, nigga? Yeah, they, they, they missed. They checked the wrong house. People didn't even know about the secret house next door. What, what we doing here? That's the shit right there, man, that, um, you know, can get you in big trouble in the fucking long run. And that's running your mouth. That wasn't well thought of. Like, no way. He talked that over with nobody. And people were like, I don't believe he wrote it. Because, you know, some people think that this track was kind of cool. Hey, I don't think he wrote it. I guarantee you he wrote it. <laughs> Saying too much. Who the fuck even knew they had like a secret house or something next door on one of them properties? So is that where all the goods is? Or, you know, did he think they didn't got rid of the stuff out of there now since the police didn't raid that part? So now if they come raid it, they ain't going to find nothing? I don't know. But the little homie man was uh, talking too much. 
in my opinion, King Combs put out a diss track, dissing 50 Cent, trying to hold Pops down, and maybe wound up doing more damage than good around this motherfucker. Yo, you know, and I know, that 50 ain't gonna let up. He going to ride this shit, and he probably will come back with a diss track. You know, sometimes you get a ripple effect. They call it the butterfly effect. People see and hear one thing going on, and everybody got to jump in. And it's not always a good thing. For the last three weeks, maybe a month, the whole world been watching Kendrick Lamar go at it with Drake. Started with the song Like That with Metro Boomin' and Future. And here we go a month later and the whole world was captivated by this beef, right? Everybody excited. It's like watching a fight. Next thing you know, everybody punching their ass, shadow boxing. Well, <laughs> like I said, sometimes it's not a good thing, man, to mimic what's around you or what you see going on because it could be your own, it could be to your own detriment. You got Game beefing with Rick Ross. You got Soldier Boy beefing with 21 Savage now. Everybody dissing or trying to or on the verge of, you know, some type of rap beef. So I'm sure King Combs is like, you know what? Perfect opportunity to hold Pops down. Talk about my motherfucking father. Shit, give me my pen. And here you go. Started out being a diss track to 50 Cent. It may wind up being a diss track against his own motherfucking father. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Look down right now. Make sure you gave this video a thumbs up, yo. Make no sense. Thousands of views. Hundreds of thumbs up. Get a video a thumbs up. Show some love. Don't forget to sub to the channel. This is Machiavelli Media. Turn on them post notifications so you'll be the first ones to get it when I drop that shit. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm your homie Gab. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace.